Mr. Chancellor, it is my honor to present to you Ms. Meredith Monk, pioneering multidisciplinary performance artist. There are few performance disciplines Ms. Monk has not mastered. She's a singer, composer, director, choreographer, and filmmaker. She has also created new opera, music theater works, and art installations. Les, ses œuvres explorent les confins de la musique et du mouvement, de l'image et de l'objet, de la lumière et du son. Ce sont des univers finement ciselés par son esprit de découverte qui nous rattache aux préoccupations intemporelles de l'existence sur Terre. Par ses créations, Madame Monk vise ainsi à découvrir et à entrelacer de nouveaux modes de perception. Her interdisciplinary approach to creation and performance is rooted in a collaborative process that has become the standard for current practice. In all of these ways, her career represents many of the virtues and visions expressed by Concordia's Faculty of Fine Arts. Ms. Monk's creativity is matched by her talent her innovative work in what is now called extended vocal technique saw her named one of National Public Radio's 50 great voices. That's just one in a long list of accolades that includes a MacArthur Genius Award and a National Medal for the Arts presented to her by President Barack Obama. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Ms. Meredith Monk, so that you may confer upon her the degree of Doctor of Fine Arts, Honoris Causa. like to introduce Dr. Monk and ask her to please address the convocation. Sure. Sure. Mr. P Chancellor, Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, honored platform guests, graduating class, and family and friends. I'm looking and seeing these beautiful faces before the lights went out, and I'm so happy for all of you. And I'm so grateful for this great honor. All these years, spending a lifetime doing something that I love is a reward in itself, but this award is an affirmation of a vision that I've tried to follow for my whole lifetime, and it means so much to me. Speaking to all of you beautiful human beings, I hope that you will continue to love learning, C to continue to love learning makes you young for your whole life. And also the critical thinking that you've learned at Concordia throughout all your lives. This is such a blessing that you've received and to try to share it with other people is a wonderful life. I hope that through the din of information that's constantly bombarding you, that you will find time and patience to listen to your deepest self because there's actually only one of you in the universe, only one of you that existed in the past, in the present, and in the future. So part of your job in this, on this planet is to find out what your voice has to give to the community and to the planet, and it will never be the same without you. So take the time to be quiet and to really listen to yourself, to the deepest part of yourself. I've been blessed by working for my lifetime. 
I've been blessed to try to make work that is very affirmative of life. I've been blessed by moments of discovery, which I think I have in common with all of you because engineering certainly is a moment of creativity. These moments of discovery just are life affirming and give you so much energy. And I try very hard in my work to make work that's a prototype of the possibility of human behavior that has to do with cooperation rather than competition, generosity rather than greed, and gentleness instead of cruelty. So the Beatles said it, all you need is love. And also Van Jones, the wonderful African-American writer, talks about the army of love when we had our election. And I think that what he means by the army of love, using a metaphor like that, is that you actually have to be quite fierce and brave and compassionate to give love. It's hard work to give love, and it's easy to hate. So what we need is that sense of love and kindness. Putting anything that you love, putting anything that you do which is, starts from love is a salve for fear and confusion. And we need this so much in this time. So here are some principles that I've lived by that I'd love to pass on to you. First thing is to remain open and curious. Curiosity is a wonderful, wonderful quality that will also hold you in good stead throughout your lives. Follow your dream, be quietly stubborn, and don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. You will find a way. Be a troublemaker, and what I mean by that is it's not being afraid to ask questions, to work to change things, and to also alleviate suffering. And last but not least, always be kind. His Holiness the Dalai Lama says, that always be kind whenever possible, it is always possible. And what that means is to be kind to others, to the world, and to yourself. I wish you a rich, joyful, and fulfilling life, and I'm so happy for you. Félicitations à tout le monde. Thank you. Dr. Monk, I would like to thank you for your beautiful words, your eloquence, and delivery of such a very fine message to all of us. Thank you. <laughs>